Hey everyone, Ray Sawvel, RaySawvel.com. In today's video, I am going to be taking you through Google Ads Editor, the importance of it, and a couple of tips that you can use in your day-to-day -day just to bulk update campaigns in a pretty quick way. So for those of you that are unaware of Ads Editor, it's pretty much a spreadsheet-based tool that allows you to make bulk updates across many accounts and find a lot of efficiencies, especially when it comes to a copy and pasting standpoint. So that is one of the main advantages of AdWords Editor. It just allows you to get a lot of things done in a much quicker way. So if you want to go ahead and download this tool and you haven't done it before, you can just Google for Google Ads Editor. It'll bring you exactly to this page right here. And you can just click on the download option. So once you download Ads Editor, you can just go through the prompts and it'll just let you know, hey, here's how you do it. Here's how you, it, it downloads it, it installs it. I already have it installed right now, so I'm going to essentially be repairing or installing over itself. So I'm going to skip this process right now as I have it installed already. But um, if you cannot install the program, let me know below in the comments and I'll definitely make sure to help you out. Uh, so once you have it installed, it will sort of default to this tree right here where it will show you exactly what the platform looks like. And you're gonna see a couple of options here. You'll see like account settings help, and then you can add right away. So I have some stuff blurred out on the screen right now because I have some client stuff on here right now. Um, but what you'll be able to do is click on the plus button. And then what you can do is open up Google Chrome and then it'll sync your Google profile, your Google Ads profile, to editor, and then you'll have access to literally every single account that your user has access to. It's really simple to do. So um, let, let me show you what I just did. If you click on the add option here, click on open browser to sign in, Google Chrome will then default to this section right here. You can click on your user profile, allow everything because it's just permission based. And then you're going to get a one-time code that's going to allow you to like post and do things with an editor. So if you copy this code, go back to editor, paste that code in, you'll then notice that your MCC will port over and you can download very specific client accounts from your existing access levels. It can be an entire MCC if you want to go that route. It can be specific client accounts. Anywhere you have a CID, a client ID. So I'm going to download my YouTube channel specifically. Click on it. And then you'll see a couple of options here. You can choose to download literally everything inside the entire account, so all campaigns. Or you can go to very specific campaigns. So if you only want to get like one or two campaigns, you can check them. This is rather helpful if you have like a massive account with hundreds and hundreds of accounts, tons of assets, and it may be a rather large download. If it's nothing crazy, you're probably safe nine times out of 10 to do the all campaigns route. Click OK, and then what will happen is this will download to your computer. Couple of major advantages here is this is all offline. So you could download everything before you don't have internet access work on it and then once you get access again you can post so this is a really cool tool if you know you're going to be offline for extended period of time if you're on a flight um, if you think you may have internet issues any, anything that may be kind of weird this gives you the option to work offline to some capacity and then upload and post your changes when you're done so i'm going to click this one account here open it this is my youtube channel and these are all the accounts that i have ran in the past all right, so this is what the interface will look like once you have things open. And there's a ton of things on the screen right now, but I will promise you as soon as you become comfortable with this dashboard, you'll be able to fly through here and make changes rather quickly. You can copy campaign settings. I'll have another video down the line of talking about like all the efficiencies and all the hacks and shortcuts that I use in my day to day. So if that's something that you're looking for rather quickly, comment down below and I can make sure to prioritize that video. But this is what the platform looks like right when you log into AdWords editor or ads editor. One of the first things that I like to do when teaching this tool is tell people to look at all of the hotkeys. And if you press the control key and the question mark, you can look at all of the different hotkeys that Google has for ads editor, go through them. And like some of the big ones are literally just doing like new, like control N or copy paste, like all the standard type of things. But things that I find really helpful, which I'll have down the line, are like the replacing, which is really good for ad copy. Same thing for appending, if you want to do that for ad copy. Um, I do control U all the time for URLs. So these are things that are just secondhand to me, and I highly recommend that you learn at least some of these shortcuts to make sure that you can fly through this application a little bit faster. But for purposes of this video, I'm going to show you some, some 
basics in how you can go about moving around campaign to campaign. So as you can see here, everything is completely like able to be like moved around. I can drag and drop stuff. I can move columns around. Nothing is like set. I can move things around. And the other really cool thing is you can download like stats for your campaigns. If you're trying to make like statistical based decisions and you're not just like build, 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 build. You can go to this view statistics module on the upper right hand corner, click on get statistics, and then you can click on everything and choose the metrics you want to download. So if I want to get like all of the performance based metrics and columns, I can check those. I can choose like literally all the columns I want for whatever time frame. Let's say I want to do the last 30 days, download them. It will then download in the background all my metrics. And now if I right click on any column, I will have everything available to me and I can see all of these metrics. So now I can filter by very specific performance KPIs and see them, which is just like huge. So I could say like clicks equals X, Y, Z. I could set up custom filters to find very specific campaigns and it just allows you to jump around very quickly. So that's how you go about downloading statistics inside ads editor, which is another really great tool when you're looking to get all the data to go along with your campaigns. But the thing you're going to be doing time in and time out is just duping campaigns or the settings and you know, moving across here really easily. So what I can do is do control C on this campaign here, or I could right click, go to copy and just paste it. It'll give me another campaign. And then anything that has an exclamation mark means there's some kind of error. And at the bottom of your screen down here, it'll tell you exactly what that error is. So I can't have the same name or, or what, what have you. So I can just rename that and say like, Hey, test, whatever, test, test 22 and then you're good to go. So when you're navigating around these campaigns, you're gonna notice on the right-hand side are all the parameters within that specific area you have selected. So these are all of my campaign settings on the right-hand side. So I can like, these are all the settings that I can choose that you would see within the interface. And then on the left-hand side of the screen are like all of like the different like child menus. So here I have like ad groups, specific like keywords and targeting metrics, ads, ad extensions, um, and you can copy those very easily as well. And the final thing you're going to want to do is you're working inside this platform for ads editor. Let's say you have the campaign made, you have your ad groups made, you have the specific keywords that you're targeting, web pages, all that kind of jargon, and you should be good to go. Um, the final thing you're going to want to do is just post your campaign. So once you have everything in a really good spot and you know you're good to go, I typically like to always make sure that my campaign is paused and you can tell that it's paused over here on the left-hand menu. Um, it, it's like grayed out and you can tell that like if it's activated right now, it's not grayed out. But then if I um, pause it, you can then see that um, it's it's grayed out and you can no longer like run it and it's it's paused. So I typically like to post campaigns paused. So then when I go to the interface itself, Everything is paused in there, and then I can review in the interface if I want to go that route, which is just a really great way to go because now if I go to Google Ads, you'll notice that I just clicked post, and now here's this test 22 campaign that, that just went up. So one little tip there. The other thing that I want to show you, and I'm just going to dupe out another campaign here, um, test 23 now. When you click on post, you have a bunch of options. So you can choose to literally post like all campaigns, everything that you've been working on in your account at this point, and you can post everything. So if you're working in like a search campaign over here, display over here, YouTube, whatever, you can click on all campaigns and it'll post everything all at once. Now, if you're like me and you wanna like make sure you're like very careful and cautious of exactly what you're working on, you can go to selected campaigns and then whatever campaign you have selected over here in the left-hand menu is what will post. So you can see selected, campaigns is chosen right here. I have three campaigns chosen. I have the three right here. Only these three campaigns will be posted at this time because those are the only ones I have selected. So this just gives you like another like barrier prior to posting to ensure that you're doing the right stuff and the things that you want to make sure you're doing. So that that's like the final tip right there for ads editor. There's so much you can do with this tool. I didn't want to overwhelm everyone based on like all the complexities. Like I said, if you want to learn a little bit more about the tool, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know and I'll make sure to prioritize that video because there's so, so much you can do inside this platform. 
And that's it. Thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate it. If you would like more of this type of content or more digital marketing content in the future, please consider subscribing. It would really help the channel. Um, we've been growing so much recently, getting close to 550 subscribers, which is just bonkers. So thank you everybody for supporting the channel. Appreciate it. And until next time, chat with you later. See ya.